Hello, this is Caleb again, and this is my second attempt at engraving on an aluminum project box. This is a die-cast aluminum uh, box that is powder-coated. Um, I'm using a 60-degree, 8-inch V-bit. Right there, you can see my first attempt at engraving on this project box. That failed because the cam clamps uh, weren't tightened down to the bed enough, and they actually vibrated loose, and the whole box shifted with the bit. Uh, that ended up chipping the bit. I didn't notice that until after this attempt was completed. Um, and I talk about that at the end of the video and show off the bit kind of. But it still ended up pretty nice, I think. Now the real reason I decided to uh, engrave on this aluminum project box instead of doing like an actual milling operation was for the most part just to get a better feel of how my machine performed well working with aluminum and I think that it was a smart move as far as I'm concerned because you know my first attempt taught me how to use my clamps properly and I was pretty happy with that it only took me one try to figure out how to make them work better because this attempt worked fairly well I think as far as holding the material down I think the biggest thing that I'm going to take away from this attempt is Basically, you have to be really, really, really conservative when milling aluminum on the Shapeoko. Uh, you know, the DW660, I think, probably does a lot better job than the Dremel would do, and I'm happy about that, but all in all, that's the best lesson I can really glean from this. And with that, I think I'll speed up the video now and let you kind of watch it in 3x speed. In reality, it took about 11 and a half minutes to uh, complete the job. And I think that's pretty good, but after the job is all complete here, I have another little segment of the video that is going to be kind of talking about the, the completed um, operation on the box and kind of showing it off. So stay tuned for that.
All right, so hopefully that was entertaining, although the quality of the video wasn't so good. But this is this this is basically what I did. Now this is a diecast metal um, um, project box made by Hammond, and it's got a powder coat on it. This uh, spot right here, as I said kind of earlier, is from a mess up where these cam clamps weren't tightened down tight enough and they actually <laughs> let loose because of the vibration. I also was cutting too deep um, into the into the aluminum unfortunately. But as the as the engraving suggests, this was just a test. Uh, this is the very first thing I've tried to do with aluminum and it's definitely a lot harder to mill than uh, than wood. So that was interesting. A little bit of information also is I noticed that after I took the bit out, if I can get it to focus, right here. You can see kind of right there, right at the tip, it's chipped. And I'm pretty sure that that actually happened on the first attempt where it accidentally jumped out of the clamps. So. What this is, is it's a 8th um, inch, 60 degree uh, carbide end mill. I got it from uh, Drillman 1 off of eBay. So that's done for, I guess. So that was a sort of a bummer, but I guess, I don't think I spent more than like maybe 5 or $7 on that. can't remember exactly. Get that focused again. But yeah, so kind of just was messing around with this. Um, I think, or well, for the software I used to actually make this, um, uh, this cam, or to cam out the path for this V Carve thing, I used uh, a copy, a friend's copy of um, V Carve Pro that I've been messing around with on a laptop. Um, that's pretty cool software, but basically, yeah, it kind of just a crazy mess a little bit on the first thing. I thought I was totally going to fail, but I think it kind of ended up pretty nice. And yeah, this um, aluminum bed that I'm going to be using for this kind of work really worked well. The cam clamps, once I figured out how to tighten them down properly, uh, worked really well too. So I'm pretty happy with that as a modification. Um, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video below. Bye.